Hi, I'm John Pitts, and welcome again to another episode of The Passion Behind the Owner, sponsored by our good friends at Classic Auto Insurance. Today with me is Anthony, and Anthony has a great story to tell you about these three cars. And I'm going to start, I'm going to ask you to start your story with the beautiful Corvette behind me and how that really started your passion for cars. Sure. So ever since I can remember uh, being a young child, um, my father's had this car. So he actually had built a garage in the back of our house in Southern Ohio, uh, specifically to house this vehicle. Um, so as, as early as I can remember, um, you know, I can hear the sound of that 327. I can smell the fumes in my nose. Um, and I really remember going for rides with my father. So that was always a good time between the, uh, the family. Uh, it's just, it's helped to shape my childhood. I know you started out in, in motorcycles and cars, and then when you started a family, you kind of moved to the K5 Blazer, right? right. So talk about that and, your, and the relationship with your family. So uh, when I started having children, I recognized that the time on the motorcycle is going to dwindle to nothing. So the decision was made to do something different. I actually found the K5 on the lot at Ray Skillman on the south side. I had the cash at the time and uh, made him an offer. And that has truly become uh, a member of our family. My kids have grown up in that truck um, to the point, even when we repainted it a few years ago, I asked the guys to not do a perfect paint job because my kids still step on that wheel, <laughs> step on that tire, and they you know, hoist themselves over the fender to get into it. They've, they've probably gone over the fender more times than they've gone through the door to get into it. That's awesome. So after that, you said you went through kind of a brace of BMWs and some other sports cars, and then that led you to the <laughs> silverback beast behind you, which I truly love. And so tell us about how you ended up here and the mission that's taken you on to really build, sure. building what is a beautiful pro touring car. Um, when I was 16, I wanted a Camaro. I got an 85 Cutlass. I love you, Mom and Dad. Um, Standard car at the time. Yeah, so um, I always knew I wanted that car. Uh, when I bought this car, I wanted the styling, and I had thought I bought the right car with a big block and a, a four-speed and a 12-bolt rear end. The problem was it didn't handle like the BMW did. And so um, the decision was made to put a modern engine into it, um, do a modern uh, suspension, six-speed transmission. Uh, and so really, my goal with this car was to have the old-school styling um, at the same time, be able to do anything. Go down the quarter mile, take it on the, the uh, street, uh, drive to the track, autocross it. Uh, and then we put four point harnesses in the back for my kids to be able to, to feel that. like they're a part of it. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. What a great discussion with you. And thank you for sharing not only your passion, but your family's passion with the automobile as well. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Classic Auto, insuring your vehicle, insuring your passion. Call or click Classic Auto today.